Well, it's been a little bit since my last video and uh, I have a good excuse. <laughs> Somehow on my last trip, a little mouse managed to crawl through my firewall and uh, chewed up a bunch of wiring inside my truck. So it's been at the mechanic for the last three or four weeks and um, I had a rental car, but I also had a bunch of work. So to be honest, I wouldn't have been able to get out anyway and photograph. And uh, so yeah, that's <laughs> that's why I haven't posted a video in about six weeks. Um, but you know, I'm here today and uh, only about 45 minutes to an hour from my house. Um, and that's because we've got a pretty good sized storm coming in. It's supposed to snow about one to two feet in the mountains and all the way down to 3000 foot elevation. So there's a good chance that we could get some snow here in the desert as well. Um, but I've got some uh, black and white film with me on this trip and my plan is to expose a little bit of color and a little bit of black and white. So uh, I think that'll be pretty fun. I've got this shot here set up with my 240 millimeter, which is a little bit of a wider lens on 8x10, not too wide. Um, I'm in the vertical orientation, and it's just kind of like a portrait of this Joshua tree. And I made sure to, um, basically there's a branch that's kind of hanging off the side of this tree, and I didn't want it to intersect with the mountain range behind it, so it's just kind of laying right on top of the mountain range. And I think I'm going to shoot a sheet of black and white on this. Um, the, there's no real color to the sunset. And a lot of times I like shooting uh, black and white in really soft light. So this will, be a, this will be a perfect opportunity to do that. And there are some clouds kind of moving uh, through the shot. So I think, uh, I think it's a good time to make the exposure now. All right, well, it's getting pretty dark. Six seconds, F45. It's gonna be a 30 second exposure. Um, but with FP4, reciprocity is gonna be uh, pretty bad. So let's see. Yeah, it's gonna be a three minute and 20 second exposure. <laughs> so. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this exposure going. Got my lens here on T, which is the uh, time setting, so I can just hit it once and walk away, come back in three and a half minutes and close the lens. All right, here we go. It's a little tricky when you get into these really long exposures because, you know, as it's exposing, reciprocity time's starting to kick in and the light's getting darker and darker. So <laughs> sometimes I'll just overexpose it a little bit, uh, even more than what it says. The majority of the time I make two exposures on a scene, one as a backup, just in case something happens to the film. Unfortunately, this time both sheets of film had a light leak coming from the bottom of the camera. Well, 
Well, I'm not really expecting much out of that photograph, but either way, it was, it was fun to make an exposure. And I know tomorrow I'm not really going to get a chance to because it's, it's going to be uh, raining all day. So anyway, I'm going to get things packed up and I'll see you in the morning. Last night I was checking the weather report and they issued a high wind advisory in the Joshua Tree area. So instead of just sitting down there in the wind and the rain, I decided to come up to the local mountains here and uh, be here for the snowstorm. So it's only like 10 minutes from my house, but I'm at this uh, juniper tree that I've had my eye on for quite a while. It's a pretty gnarly looking tree. It was hit by lightning and there's this limb that's kind of growing off the side of it. And I like how it's kind of hugging the rose so it gives me a little bit of a leading line for this shot. Um, but last night I was thinking about, you know, as far as how this year's gone for photography and setting goals. Um, at the beginning of each year, I set a personal goal to expose 100 sheets of film. And that kind of keeps me motivated each month to expose at least you know 10 sheets at least at the end of the year most years i reach that goal but i was tallying up my sheets this morning and i'm at 98 exposures so um i'll probably finish off my hundred on this tree right here so that's kind of cool but i'm just gonna wait for this uh storm to hit it's just starting to flurry around here and I'll probably come back this evening to hopefully a completely white scene and uh, photograph this in black and white. I'm gonna put a yellow filter on the front of this lens. I think that'll give it a little more contrast and bring out these clouds a little bit more. For those of you wondering, this is a Koken X Pro filter holder. It's the only one I found that's large enough to fit over these um, big lenses. These are pretty much the exact conditions I was hoping for, so that's good. Didn't quite get as much snow as they forecasted, but still got some pretty good snow. All right, I'm gonna meter this scene. Yeah, so with reciprocity, it's five seconds. So I'm gonna make a quick exposure. Getting some nice light on the top of the tree right now. So I'm gonna quickly make another exposure. All right, so this will be a five second exposure on FP4. And this will be my 100th exposure this year.
All right, well, overall, that was uh, pretty much exactly what I was hoping for. And uh, I know this video is a little shorter, but hopefully you found some enjoyment out of it. And uh, I'm gonna get my stuff packed up and head back home. And I should see you in a couple weeks.